what we can do is we can also look at uh, an example of a form so we can we can create a form to enter the book or the member whichever is easier so i'll go back to our chat session and i'll wait for someone to to ask any questions if they have any uh so anushi asks if i can remove 1 2 3 in the list of books if you want to remove 1 2 3 then you need to use an html tag called ul or unordered list and then your uh, your li will look like a bullet point instead of a 1 2 3 number so you can look at html tags and sort of design your html any how you want kinidi you i'll stop sharing my screen and you can remind me to start sharing it later on but uh, you can share your screen and tell me why your browser says name error it is probably something to do with the wrong syntax avinash can you please ask your question out loud so that i can answer it fully no can you please show me the error in your uh, open your terminal where your server is running that is where you see the error yes so it says name book is not defined uh so the reason for this is you're not imported books in your views.py if you're not imported it your views.py file does not know what books variable means which is why it cannot understand dr kulkarni if books is only books is displayed and if list is not displayed that means your database does not have the book data please go to your admin dot your admin uh, url please log in Please enter some data into your book. Uh, admin or URL, which file? No, go to your browser, open the admin URL, slash admin, slash admin, and please enter some data there so that you can see the data on your front page. So Smith is asking, can we create a form in slash form and then show the accepted entries in books? Yes, you can do that. So that is the next sort of uh, next exercise that we'll be doing for the next half an hour one hour or so so someone has asked can we did not create description in the code but we wrote manually with our super user access can we display it in the books list yes so we we have the full book object so the book object that you queried and you have stored in all books contains all the data related to those books so you also have the description data in your template if you go and uh, the place where you have written book my book you can you can write my book dot description and it will print out the whole description of your book like i did for author you can do it for this you can say my book dot description so what we can try now is we'll create a form so so like i mentioned sir, uh, sir. in my Yes, sir. After creating the member in the web browser, I have not wrote the code, sir. Correct. So in that case, unfortunately, we've gone a little more ahead. So I can't reverse all the way back to the point where you are at. Uh, mm. The repository shared with you has most of the code. So if you can figure it out, you can copy paste parts of it and try to make sure that you are at par. So okay, I will try, sir. so what we did i explained the whole workflow of how your request goes and your response reaches back for the current books example what we did was we sent a get request when we sent a get request what we did was we didn't send any request from the client to the server what we did was we asked the server to send us some information so that is what a get request is you are getting some information and you're not sending any information so you only ask for information so again Uh, there was some database interaction but the information was unidirectional it came from the server towards your client in in most of the cases this is not the case you need a more interactive website where you can submit some information and that will get stored on your database and then you can do some more things right so when you are sending information from your client to your server it is called a post request when do you do a post request when you are sending some information from the client and want to edit your database or make changes to your database that is when you send a post request 
the most common utility of a post the post request is just an http protocol it's a, it's a part of the http sort of request protocol but the uh, the most common method to sort of the most common time or the most common place where this post request is used is when you are submitting a form on any website so any website that has a form basically when you click on the submit or the add button so when you are filling when you are filling your college application when you are filling the the train uh, ticket reservation etc you are sending a post request what that does is it is sending information from your client to the server and the server is then behind the scenes adding some information to the database right after that also the server will get some information and it will send it back to you so let's build a very simple form we will not do anything complex we will build a simple form that takes the book as input and stores a book to the uh, to the database all right so let's start uh, for this what we need to do sir, is share the screen sir thank you to show up in some time yes sir showing okay so now what we'll do is we'll be creating uh, so there apart from urls views models and templates django also has an an inbuilt structure for building understanding and uh, parsing the incoming data from a form submission right so it is very conveniently called a forms.py file any forms.py file in your django application stores all information related to the post request forms that are being handled by your web application to be able to create a forms.py file first go to library manager app folder so the folder that contains models.py etc please go to that folder and create a new file let me check if it is already there should not be there i think yeah so there is no file currently called forms.py because it is not a default uh, feature uh, i mean it's, it's not something that's very common you only use it in certain cases so that is one file that django doesn't create for you by default but you can always go and create one right so i will create one just from here uh, please use any uh, any method that is convenient for you to create a forms.py file i am using the command line please don't use these commands in your windows because they not work it should be forms.py f o r m s .py please create it inside the library manager folder not anywhere else if you create it anywhere else it will not work right i created a file uh, it will now show up in my in my uh, in my spider interface i'll open it here and it is obviously empty because it doesn't contain anything sir it is not recognizing touch it will not recognize touch sir i already told you in windows there is no command called touch so it will not work for you please create a new file by going to windows explorer or creating a new file whichever way you think is comfortable i think uh, i don't know if spider allows you to create files i don't think it does so please use windows explorer any way any way that you feel is comfortable for you to create files please create the file please make sure it is in library underscore manager please make sure that you have put it in the correct library manager folder this is the library manager folder that contains the models.py and the views.py etc please do not touch any other file please save it correctly sir how to create a new file there like going to new then new folder option is coming text document don't use spider please use windows explorer if you i mean please use any way that you would use in a normal computer setup just use that so i guess you would use windows explorer right in windows when you create a new file go to the folder in windows explorer right click 
there should be a create new file or a new file option please try that okay hopefully everybody is done by now in case you aren't just say no in chat and i'll try to come back to you but otherwise let's go ahead with the so anushi i don't know what you did but as long as you saved it as forms.py it is fine it should show up as forms.py and it should be inside library manager in the same folder where models.py is right okay right so what are we doing we are creating so we are creating something called a model form what do you want me to repeat uh please create a forms.py file inside the library manager app folder the library manager app folder is the same folder which contains models.py your forms.py file should be a new file created in the same folder where models.py is located please check three times that you are in the correct folder before creating the file the file should be called forms.py and once created open it and wait for the next instruction that is what we need to Right. So, we first need to import a utility uh, class called model form. A model form is basically a class that allows you to automatically create a form and create the necessary tools of the form from a existing model. So, we are already have the book model. Uh, so, we use the model form to get all the properties of the book model as a form in the format of a HTML form, right? a submittable form so we use from django dot forms import model form right we'll then import the model itself what is the model from dot models import book the book model should be available in models.py right so please check that book model is available we will now create a class for the form so because the class relates to a form so the name should be relevant which is why i am calling it a very interesting name called book form right it will inherit from the model form because the model form has the inherent properties that create that allow you to do a lot of uh, Use a lot of its inbuilt features. The model form will not have much details inside it. It will have another subclass. So you can define a class within a class or a method within a method. In this case, you will define a meta class. The meta class will contain two attributes. The attributes will be model equal to the model name book. it will also contain fields fields will be all the fields so uh if you do if you want all the fields you need not specify this particular variable if you want to control which field you want to display you can define this variable but for now since i already said that there's a attribute called fields you just add all the variables here where is my model.py okay Right. because i forgot what the fields are title author name isbn number genre and description so we will add the field name as string title author name isbn num genre and description now please make sure that the variable names are the same the spelling is correct the variable names should be exactly the same as the variable names of the fields in the model file any difference here will lead to problems or errors title author name isb number genre and description correct so five fields right i will save this unfortunately you can't see the whole file but i'll keep this here and please copy it and i will i will keep monitoring the chat in between sorry please type this out please copy this out type this out 
this particular form dot py file is not available in the in the repository the repository is taking a slightly different direction in terms of the database design so that will be slightly different this is not there in the github repository so please don't copy paste from github please just type out what i just typed out please keep the spelling names the same uh, so smith has asked can we use all all is a uh, orm query uh, method name we don't want to run a query here we just want to design a submittable form so this is going to be the object that gives you the form layout on your html page and we'll show you how smith there is a like a, you can pass uh underscore underscore all underscore underscore so where you don't have ah, to enter talking about field is it yeah, yeah. so i think that's talking about or orm yeah uh, so but currently i think it is better we instead manually add it uh, yeah you don't need to add them manually no. is everybody done with the form dot py is anyone still pending Is still writing, copying, typing. Please let me know. Okay. So the form is done. Now we need to create a view because this is now going to be a separate logic or business logic where we have to show the form, collect the data, get the response, etc. This is going to be a completely new template and view, right? Because we hit be hitting a separate URL. so let's design a new view we'll call it def new book we'll pass it the request argument we'll do a couple of things here uh we'll first be checking if we we'll first be checking if the incoming request so this is a request object this request object is the same object that i talked about earlier when you are hitting the url in your in your browser your browser is sending in request the request is then sent to this function this view function as a python argument right so it contains all the information that a request should contain it contains your source url it contains the time stamp it contains your computer's ip address so it contains a surprising amount of information and that is why website start collecting all this kind of data from you right that is how they do it They they get a lot of information by default. You want a simple application like this and collect a lot of information about you using the request that comes in from your computer. So uh, you have the request object. We will first check if the request is a post method or a get method. So like I said, a get method is a simple URL call in your browser. A post method is a submit action or a post action. from your browser it will be sending a separate post request so a get request and a post request are different to be able to check if your incoming request is of a particular type you will do request dot method equal to equal to post sorry capital post so this checks if the method of the request is post or not here you will create an instance of your form so we will say form equals book form sorry book form and you will add the request post data how will you do that you will say request dot post uh, you may not be able to follow along with all the variables that are here but please understand that these are inbuilt variables and methods they are getting you all the request related information your form needs all this information because it is going to at times it will also pre populate certain information in the form itself right so that is why you need to send the information to the book form object right once you generate this uh, form you will check if the populated information that you got from the post request is correct or not if form dot is valid you will do a form dot save right so what is this doing now you have populated your form 
object with the post request information django internally has a very convenient way of checking if the data that you sent in is correct does it follow all the data types that you defined in your model is the book name correct is it following the character limitation is your number correct etc all these validations are done all these checks are called validation these validations are done and then you can save your form object saving your form object simply means that the form data is transferred to your database an object a model object is created and then the model object is saved into your database that is the shortcut way of saving your form information to your database right so as everybody has very correctly pointed out i have not imported anything so i will add an import statement here sorry from dot forms import book form again just to reiterate please make sure that the name spellings capitalization small letters capital letters are all correct otherwise things will not work as expected right now once the form is saved your view function should also understand what should happen next so if you save the form and if you see the same page then you are going to be confused as to whether what happened did did my form get saved did my book get saved or not so to sort of indicate that your success your form was successfully saved and you now can go back to your regular life we will redirect stuff to another page which page can we redirect it to you can redirect it to books do we have a name for the url yes we have a name called books for our url called books so we we are using this name right we are not using this or this you are using the name argument to indicate which uh, which view we want to go back to books so this view function after successfully saving your form will automatically redirect you to the books view and it will show you all the books again right because we want to see the book that we added in the list correct correct we will do form dot save we will do a redirect and it will go to books same way we have not done a we have not done an import for redirect so please add redirect add redirect import in django shortcuts line now uh, this is a process when you are sending a post request on an already existing form but when you are visiting the page for the first time you need you need the server to send you the form in the first place right if you don't have a form what will you fill in so for that the request cycle is always that the first url is a get request and then you will send in post request based on the form that you receive in a very simple uh, request response structure so if the request method is post then do this else if the request method is get you don't have to specifically type out that condition you will again initialize the form this time it will be a sorry i'm stupid book this time it will be an empty form with no request post data because you don't have any request post data you want an empty form and you will now return a render method your render like last time will contain a few things what will it contain it will contain the request the request object it will contain a new template uh, what should we call that template we should call it say let's call it form right so we have the library manager folder where we are going to create this template and we'll call it form.html or we'll call it book form keep keep the same naming convention we'll call it book form.html and we need to send it some context so what is the context in this case the context in this case is the form itself form form this is the form object right i'll save this uh 
in case you need some time to copy please let me know i will copy i mean i'll keep it has everybody followed till here this was a like slightly lengthier piece of code so i understand if it will take some time i can wait for maybe say 5 to 10 minutes and let you copy all of this and uh, we can then move for, forward so what we will write in book form dot html i'll tell you but i need to make sure that everybody is already done this have you already is, done is this? it a curly bra bracket or some other bracket or after this render for i want to see it clearly for render it simple, is simple bracket round bracket for context it is curly bracket yeah yeah context Somebody is curly bracket yeah for somebody asked why is context essential so context is essential to send any data to your template so that your template can populate the variables inside the template with the sent data in the books method we had already had a list of books in this method we have the form html and i'll show you how it shows up it is a form object the form object is then rendered as a form in the html i know i'm i keep repeating form so i'll show you how it looks in the final file so if you are already done please recheck the typed commands again please make sure that the indentation is correct please make sure that the spellings are correct please make sure that your post is capital please make sure that your path to your book form dot html is typed correctly there are lot of indentations in this function there are at least two levels of indentation please make sure that you use spaces everywhere the closing of the render bracket is correct uh, because i had a lot of values and i can't show them in one single line because it gets too lengthy so i i added it to the new line uh, the the alignment of the brackets don't matter okay they should just uh, be closed correctly obviously that does not mean that you can uh, you know ignore indentation so okay is everybody done can i move on 